Hello guys, I hope you are doing great. In this video, we'll see how to create a two-step login form in React, similar to Gmail login. So what Gmail does is it takes your email address first. Let's say I randomly add an email address over here. And in the first step, it will verify your email address. If the email address validates, it will move you to the next step where you will be asked to add your password. And after that, you will be authenticated and move to the home page or the uh, action page of the Gmail. So we will be creating a similar feature in React. This will be a two step login form. So let's begin. Let's first install the, uh, let's create a fresh instance of an app. Now that our app is ready, let's start creating the form. Let me remove this logo from here because we won't require it. Let me do the cleanup. Remove everything from the header. So basically the approach I'll be following is I'll be creating different components. One for the email and then for the password. And then I'll be using one step or a state to monitor the current step of the uh, you know authentication form so if it is at the first step we will render the email authentication component if it is at the second step we will render the password authentication component similarly you can use this mechanism to create a multi-step or uh, checkout form or multi-step onboarding form so we will be doing this in the later videos but in this video let's see how we can create this one so let me import use state. From react. And then get the boilerplate ready. So we'll be using one state to track the steps of the application and I'll be doing this. I'll be doing something similar to this. Then inside this, we can say if the track is at the zeroth step, then render the email authentication component. Otherwise, render the password authentication component. Now all we have to do is we have to create the email and password authentication components and then manage the application accordingly. So let's first create the email authentication. So to manage the email will require a state because we'll be creating a control component. So let's do that. Then create the component. This will return a JSX. So let's create a section and then inside the section, we'll have our input part and then there will be a button at the bottom that will do the call to action. So let's say next or validate email, whatever you can name this. And on the click of this, will validate email over here we'll have a label let's say email and then an input field value because it's a control components value will be derived from the state and then on change of it we'll have to update the state so basically have to get the target value so 
so our email section is ready the final thing pending is let's create the call to action the function to validate the email inside this we'll the first thing we'll do is Async cooperation to validate email and then we'll update the try. So we'll move it to one. I'm hard coding one because we directly want to move to the uh, password phase rather than you know incrementing the step one by one. So if you are doing it for multi step, you can increment uh, using the track so you can add one to it. So our email is part is done. Let's create a password authentication similar to this. Let's copy this. Let me paste it over here and rename this to password. And then this will everything will change accordingly. Type will be password. And for this also we'll be using if this will be a control components we'll be using a state to monitor it. So let's change that to we'll be creating a new one. Set password. Then let's replicate that. Sorry, by default it will be empty. Similar this to by default it will be empty and password and over here password and here on the call to action we'll have to validate password so let's create a function for this here and here you will be providing the async operation to validate the password let's add one more button over here to go back to the email section in case if you want to change the email address so what we'll do is we'll copy this paste it over here here we'll say change email and then on the click of this what we'll do is we'll just say set track to zero so this will move the application back to the email section now let's start the application let's see how it goes sorry my bad I think it's working completely fine. I'm not sure if you are able to see this. Let me style this a little bit. Let's add some style over here. So application is under the app. Let's go to app.css, remove everything else from here. Let's keep it that way. width of 200 pixel then imagine 0 auto not 0 but with 100 pixel order 1 pixel solid e Adding 10 pixel minimum height of that 100 pixel. This looks good. Okay. 
let's add some our properties right for the app section platelets line atom center just to parent it Oh, oh, let me remove the stupid content. No, sorry. Okay, there it. Let's leave that. We got our application. Then there is the next button over here. Here, if you click on the next, you'll see. There is the password and then there is change email and submit button. If you click on the change email, it moves back to the email section. Now let's see if our application is working fine or not. So let's add some value over here. Okay. See what's happening over here is if you notice if I add something right, the pump, the input box loses its focus. Now why this happens is because we have added the JSX inside a function every time the state changes right because we are using a global state for for this function this will be a global state the state directly accessed from the parent so it's not having any own state of himself itself sorry so it's when it's trying to access the global state or parent states every time when the state changes the application re-renders and because the application re-renders the input application loses its focus now to solve this what we have to do is we just have to rather than using it as a functional component we have to directly use this jsx so remove everything from here make the jss part of this application itself rather than using it as a functional component so i have removed the html now let me remove the password as well and paste it over here like this. Save this. And remove this section completely so we don't require this anymore. Let me clear this one. And then we don't require this either. Let me clear this. So because now our JSX is part of the uh, our application itself if you see if i time something it's working as expected so that's a common mistake uh, it often happens when we are you know uh, coding in hurry during the interviews so please keep this noted now so just let me just for identification add id over here already we have id that's an email let's at this email section You can name it anything, email section, email component, it's up to you. Let's do the same over here. And then let's add a check over here. So if there is a value in the email, if it is not null, then move to the next step. Otherwise, we can show an alert or anything, whatever you want. And same thing for here in the validate password, if the password is present, successful so something like this we can show and here we can show error Let's test this. Open the console, dock it under. Sorry. And let's see. So if I reload the application, if I click on the next button, it's saying please provide a valid email. And if 
I add a valid email, it moves to the next step. And then over here, if I'm trying to submit, nothing's happening. If I just want to add a password and click on the submit, showing successful. If I move back to the previous state, the email will be persisted because it's a control component. So I hope you have learned something new. Thank you guys.